What? What the heck? If you saw the other video, you know what the other card was that we pulled. And now we pull this? I'm speechless. Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. I am super stoked about this video because we are opening up another vintage box of Harry Potter trading cards. This is the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix update set. And inside are costume cards, prop cards, and autograph cards. I don't know if we will be as lucky as we were in the previous unboxing. If you haven't seen that video, I pulled a card that literally made me drop the cards on the table Table and like fly back because I was shocked at what I pulled. It was and is incredible. So I think I'm a little bit hooked on opening these boxes and based on your feedback from the previous video, you want to see more unboxings like this. Now this is one of 6,000 boxes that they printed. So not a lot of them, 24 packs of cards in here, eight cards per pack. Again, this is the update set. So they released the Order of the Phoenix set and then an updated version of the Order of the Phoenix set. There are 90 foil stamped base cards, nine rare foil chase cards, four box topper cards, which is one per box, so there will be one in here, four different chase topper cards, one per case, so there won't be one in here. So if you bought a case of these, like a whole box of multiple of these boxes, then you would get one of those cards. Then there are also autograph cards, costume cards, prop cards, and cinema film cell cards. We pulled a costume, autograph, and film cell card in the previous box, the Prisoner of Azkaban update set box. Lord Voldemort is featured on the front cover. Here's a view of the back. Now before we open this, I want to give new collectors of these a little bit of warning. Now I did a lot of research before purchasing a box. Do your research on these items. You may think you're buying a box that has autograph cards in it, but really it doesn't have autograph cards in it. Or you may be purchasing individual packs. Be very careful if you're buying individual packs of these cards. Dealers and sellers sometimes weigh the packs. If a particular pack is heavier, it may have a more premium card in it, and then they sell off the lighter packs. So I just want to say be cautious if you want to start collecting and unboxing cards and boxes like this. All right, here we go. The seal has been broken. Enemies of the air, beware. We're gonna pull this out. And ooh, look at that, Forbidden Forest. And then we're gonna slide this in here. So this is how the cards were displayed if you went to a store and purchased a pack. These would be on the shelf, and then there are 24 packs in each box. So let's take a look at this foil topper card. So it's the Forbidden Forest, and then it has Harry and Hermione and Ron in the trees. And on the back is a Shadow of Buckbeak. And this is number four of the four topper cards. Now, before we open up the box, I wanted to show you something else I have. I also have an update set for Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This will be in a future video, but I can't wait to see what's inside this as well. All right, let's just dive in and open the first pack. Here's what the packs look like. What's nice is there's a little notch down here. The Prisoner of Azkaban cards didn't have that notch. We have Young Snape. A serious... Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Not Could you, you Siri. <laughs> a serious threat. Not himself. Nigel, what's that? I wonder what this is, but I think it's just part of the set because it's numbered. And um, I think this is just like a character card. So that's cool if they have different character cards like this. Expecto Patronum, the red telephone box. And we have our first foil chase card, which is Sirius Black and Harry Potter. And then on the back, if you saw the previous video, you know that on the back, it creates kind of like a poster. So this is number five of nine. So we're gonna put that aside. Levy Corpus, there's Nigel himself. Tracking the DA, in this together, help arrives, raining glass. Cool, another one of those character cards. So here is Lucius Malfoy. What is this? Oh, away from Privet Tribe, cool. Heading to trial, medieval methods. I'm literally on edge in case an autograph shows up again <laughs> because last time was insane. All right, battle in the atrium. We have a checklist. Seamus Finnegan, character card. He'll find out soon enough how he wants you to feel. Some sort of freak. Discipline your mind. No idea. Ooh, that's a cool card. Sirius's cousin, the calm before the storm. Ruthless, things we lose. Fred Weasley, you know why this is significant if you saw the other video. The Patronus charm, he's after something. 
Just being modest. Not himself. Another Nigel. I like these. I think these are cool. Levy Corpus. Just like last time. We fly, of course. So far, nothing super special, except for that one foil chase card. So send some magic along. Let's see what we can pull. A special kind of detention. Ron is trapped. Nice, powerful spell. Love that one. You guys know I love Dumbledore. Oh, and we got the other Weasley. The rescue lies in the prophet. The Barman at the Hogshead, which is Aberforth Dumbledore. It's fun just to look at these cards because they're really well printed and it shows scenes from, you know, the movies that we love. Powerful spell. Another George Weasley. That's a new one. Proud to be their son, Young Snape. Now also in the Prisoner of Azkaban unboxing of these cards, I gave away two sets of these cards and I'm gonna do the same thing with these. It won't be a full set, but I'm gonna give away two partial sets to two of you guys. So check the description down below if you would like to enter to win some of these cards. Now what I don't give away are autograph or prop or uh, costume cards, but I do give away those foil chase cards. You've been lied to. Nymphadora Tonks. You won't need ink. Magical Mind Defense. Bit of fresh air. Oh, cool. So we got a foil chase card and it is the Ministry of Magic and it shows Dolores Umbridge. Oh, this is a cool card. Interrupting the OWLs. Now each box is not guaranteed to have an autograph or a prop or a costume card. They are randomly inserted. So we're not guaranteed to get anything. Love that card. Another checklist, another Seamus Finnegan. He'll find out soon enough. And we got another foil chase card. This is the Order of the Phoenix, number three. Now, as far as I know, there are like 90 different cards, just base cards in this collection in the update set. So there are quite a few cards to find. Here we have Azkaban, Mass Breakout, quite an exit. Possessed. A change in the weather. Let it out. Dreaming? An unwelcomed guest. You guys, a special card can literally show up at any time. Keep sending some magic. Help arrives. Rain in glass. Another Lucius Malfoy. That's a new, oh no, no, we saw that one. That's a fun card too, I like that scene. This is a new card. A nightmare. Lunas Patronus. That's a cool one. Preparing to fight. Ooh, nice. Bellatrix Lestrange. I love those character cards. Keeping an eye on Harry. Lack of authority. That's a nice card. Ooh, that one's nice too. Cho and her friends. Real need, the room of requirement. Get them. We got Voldemort, what's that? So this is just the Voldemort character card. Artbox Entertainment presents an update to its Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix card series. my home. They've been caught. Ooh, cool. All right, so we got another foil chase card. This is number eight, the side. Another Fred. All 
All right, last time I said, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. We pulled a special card. So let's see if we pull a special card right now. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. I love that card, it's so cool. Oh, that one's nice too. It probably complements Dumbledore's card well. Oh, like that one right there. Ooh, Voldemort character card, nice. Mrs. Fig. Come on, give us something. I would love a prop card, that'd be very cool. Nice, the Serpent of Flames. All right, we got the Prophecy. So this is another foil chase card. So far we haven't pulled any double foil chase cards, which is cool. Number one. Another Bellatrix. That's a cool card, love that card too. Preparing to fight. Uh oh guys, we're running out of packs. It's not over until the fat lady portrait sings. Another Voldemort. <laughs> what? Tom Felton autograph! Oh my gosh, what the heck? What the heck? We got Tom Felton's autograph. How? How is this possible? If you saw the other video, you know what the other card was that we pulled. And now we pull this? I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Tom Felton, who plays Draco Malfoy. I love these cards. I love these cards. Okay, let's take a look at Tom Felton's autograph. Check it out! I was getting so nervous that we weren't gonna pull anything, and then, bam, we pull a Tom Felton. So there's his autograph. Let's take a look at the back. It says, congratulations, you have just received an authentic limited edition autograph card that has been personally signed by Tom Felton, who played the role of Draco Malfoy in the film Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I'm gonna update Instagram right now because last time I pulled the card that I'm looking at right over there in the Prisoner of Azkaban video, I had to tell you guys on Instagram that I pulled something really magical. You guys, I am literally in the middle of filming the this box right here. So yes, another trading card video. And yes, I pulled something else. And it's arguably better than the card I pulled in the Prisoner of Azkaban video. I can't believe this. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited right now. This is so cool. All right, let's put this aside. We'll take a look at him a little later. And all right, so I think, we, did we look at all these cards? I think we did. I'm just gonna put it right here while we flip through the other cards. I don't even care if we get anything else after that pull. I mean, it'd be cool if we did, but nothing else has to be pulled from this box, in my opinion. Shielding the Prophecy. Change in the weather. So fun. I want to like flip through these really fast so that we can get back to the Tom Felton card. I mean, granted it's right here, but still, I, I just, I want to do close-ups of it. Three more packs. Let's see if we can pull something else that's special, but that is pretty darn special right there. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh my gosh. I'm not, I haven't looked at it yet. I haven't looked at it. Look, look at how thick this card is. Oh my gosh, guys, I think we got a prop card. I think we got a prop card. There are literally two cards. There's this one and this gigantic one. Okay, so what prop cards are is it's basically a little piece of prop from one of the props that are used in the Harry Potter films. We have Epic Battle and, oh no, it's a costume card. It's a costume card. What is it? Emma Watson's costume. Emma Watson's sweater. Hermione Granger's sweater. Emma Watson wore this fabric in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Oh my goodness. 
Congratulations, this Harry Potter card contains authentic costume material worn, worn, not just used to make her costume, but worn by Emma Watson as Hermione Granger in the film Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. 144 of 400 in existence. This is insane. Worn by Hermione Granger, worn by Emma Watson. Look at that fabric. It's official. I'm officially obsessed with these cards. Two more packs. There's really no set number of, you know, how many special cards are in a box, just that they're rare, and some special cards are rarer than others. I think we pulled some pretty rare cards. Let's see if we can find anything else. Final pack. All right, here we go. Love that one. Hey, I think that's new. We've seen that. Another Voldemort. Castle. And that is it. These two right here. This is crazy. This is like super thick. I mean, the fabric is thick itself. That's like sweater material. Love it. Incredible. <laughs> and then this, the prize of the box, the signed Tom Felton card. Tom Felton has one of the coolest signatures that I've seen from the Harry Potter actors. Another successful unboxing of one of these vintage Harry Potter trading cards. Now they don't make these anymore, which is very sad. Okay, so giveaway. Check the description down below for information on how to enter. Two of you will win. There are six of the foil chase cards and I am going to give away three of them to each of you. So two of you will receive three of these six cards right here. As far as putting them together, this is the most we were able to make. So it's most of Voldemort surrounded by a prophecy. Not much else to say except for if you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go? I'm speechless. I'm speechless.